Oh, guess who's calling us right now? You'll oh, my guess. goodness. Our BFF, Mr. George Chicada. Woo! Will we can see him? We, I know. Are we going to see him? Can he see us? He's, this is the camera. He can see us. Okay. It's me. I see you every single morning. I never miss a morning. Mom. I know. It's my Mike, favorite show. Mike is your biggest fan, yeah. Mr. George if ever, Chicada. If ever you were not on the air anymore, I just, I don't know what I do with my mornings. <laughs> you can you can keep watching. It's fine. <laughs> Well, what's the deal? You're not going to be on? Yes, George. Well, wait a minute. Has he actually made the announcement, though? Are no. we allowed to Nobody talk knows, about it? It's not public yet. Wait. No, I, this, this is an exclusive for you exclusive. guys. This no, is not. big for us. George, you <laughs> never made George, it. George, you, you, you've made it big with Central yeah. Valley. <laughs> you've never bit made it until you've been on Internet TV in Fresno. But then it's airing on Comcast later. No. The whole world will know now that yeah. I'm on uh, with is, you guys. So. There's a big break for you, George. There's a big break. So, George, you know, I've I've come and got, I've been, like, fired from so many radio stations, not in a bad way. Flip a format. You were on 47 and 24, 47 for a long time, and then 24. Are you in a car right now? Are you moving? Yeah, I have a, I have a chauffeur. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, we're just now seeing your image. Oh my for god, the first this time. is hysterical! Are you on your way to like someone for Thanksgiving? Yeah. <laughs> Are you? I work in the morning. Don't tell the bosses. I'm on my way to a uh, Kings Lakers game in Sacramento in a luxury automobile. And, and you're going to be back by back the morning, back. George. Show, so Why are okay. you leaving? Okay, first of all, okay, so I've been in, you know, I'm still on the radio. I do TV, obviously, part-time, radio part-time. Um, I know I left not because of a choice. I kept on being booted fired, off. Fired, But not in a bad way. But I finally decided I'm going to be full-time in pharmaceuticals, but then dabble in radio and TV. What made you make this decision, George? Well, I mean. Tell them what the decision is first. I yeah. know because I read it in the Fresno. Yeah, TV, by the yeah. Way. Tell what? us what's going on. Okay, so you need to know what the decision is. Yes. I left, well, I'm leaving KC24. I'm now the new um, Director of Marketing and Communications at Reedley College. Woo! So I'm now, I'm now, are we talking about all communications, including sports? Yeah, everything. Sports, everything. Events. I'm supposed to create events, promote the events that are already scheduled. Um, I'm going to de design a lecture series, a newsletter, a magazine. All that stuff. I have a lot of ideas. I can't wait to get started. I start next Thursday over there. My last day on the air is next Wednesday. So okay. No All right. Well, we're gonna have to watch this. Sh we're, I'm gonna have to watch you do your goodbye show. But we have to keep in touch with each other because I got a couple friends that have um, sons that are on the Reedley baseball team. Yeah. Does George okay. know anything? Do you know anything about sports, George? Is he oh yeah. Yeah. Kidding. What do you just What kidding. do you know about sports, George? Aren't you gonna miss like? I don't know, games and coverage and, like, you're like a celebrity. You're like a landmark in Fresno. Aren't you going to miss it? <laughs> well, I, I'm going to miss it a lot. I appreciate the compliment. I don't think of myself that It's way, a huge but, compliment. Uh, I mean, you've been on the, the radio at TV for different. years. Uh, I, it's, it, I'm going to miss it a lot. Uh, I've done news for four years, so I've been away from sports for a little bit. Yeah, uh, that's I've true. Been, you, know, um, you know, I'll be on the sideline, hopefully, for the Fresno State game Saturday against Boise. Wow. Um, but I always have some involvement with sports, but on a whole, I am going to miss it. You know, covering your your uh, your best friend Jerry Tarkanian back in the day. Was oh a lot my of fun. goodness! Oh my goodness, Jerry! He always has a special place in my heart. I'm still good friends with that family, and now your duties, we've had some good times. Your duties in Reedley doesn't that cover some other campuses as well, like Madeira and yeah. Clovis? Very, you have been doing your homework. Good for you, Mike. Well, uh, Mike, we I'm so... We have a rehearsal, but I, Athena doesn't show up at the rehearsal. Oh, anyway, well, ahead, I just kind of plow on through here. I thought there was only one Reedley, so there's a bunch of campuses. Well, there's three campuses that I have to oversee in regards to uh, promoting. Uh, I did not the know Madera that. Community College, where they mm -hmm. are now the Mountain Lions. They have a uh, mascot, and so we're having to design a logo contest. And then <laughs> That's there's awesome. And Oakhurst, too. Oakhurst. So, so, three campuses. Madera, Oakhurst, and Reedley. Yep. That is awesome, right. George. What made you decide, okay, I, you just wanted to try something different. Um, obviously, they offered you a good package and a nice salary because sometimes when I love the radio and TV business, but sometimes it does not pay the bills. I'm sorry, it doesn't. Was it like a, okay, this is like a good step up for me money-wise. I've been in TV, something new. There you go. Uh, but, you know, money has something to do with it, of course. Yeah. Uh, but career change for me was necessary. I feel like I've done everything I could do with TV here locally. Um, 
uh, four years being up, being up at two thirty in the morning is wear wear and tear. That's you, another you know, thing. I heard a rumor that you just wanted to sleep later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So in eight to five, I've never it's had so eight to five true. In my life. I know, George. I remember the days of morning radio. I did it for so long. You think when you wake, when you wake up at two or three in the morning, you think a truck ran over yeah. you. It is a hor- It's really hard in your body, and then you're like. Okay, I'm going to catch up and I'm going to get a nap. And sometimes it doesn't work out, right, George? Because you have vents at night and um, it's, it's hard. It's hard on your body. I get it. Well, let's get to some serious stuff. Um, where, uh, so you're going to see the Lakers and the Kings. Where, where <laughs> yeah. are your seats? Yeah, front row, I'm sure. Oh, you know, I'm definitely, <laughs> we're in a row one section. 1A. No, I don't know where we're sitting. I think we're in a suite, actually. Yeah. That's so, what I was going to say. You're probably in a suite, but that's awesome. When I was in the state legislature, I'd go to games there all the time. We'd be in the Arco suite. I, it's not called Arco Arena anymore, I don't think. But we were no. in the Arco suite, and it was great. We'd drink, and I'd watch Seinfeld and stuff because I could care less about sports, you know. <laughs> and one time, I went to the same game that you're going to, the Lakers and the Kings, and I sat on the floor, and I have a whole new view of sports now. It's the best... Thing I ever attended in my life, sitting on the floor. I did it one time, and it was awesome. I think it was like at a UNLV game or something when Jerry was still alive, and I was doing radio in Vegas. So, George, okay, so you start next week. Um, yep. Are you going to do like a big goodbye show? Are they going to let you do that? Because sometimes in media, they don't let you say goodbye and do a goodbye show because they think you're going to bad mouth them. Yeah. Are they going to let you do something fun? <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna we're partying on very good terms. I've been asked to come back and fill in on occasion. Okay, which, good. Uh, we'll see if that happens, so I am gonna have a last show. I don't know if my last show is gonna be next Wednesday in the morning, or they're gonna let me do the midday show as well. Okay. But I would watch the morning show just to be sure. Yes, uh, I want to tape it. it. Yeah, so I, I, I hope they're gonna. gonna be I, emotional. I, I never. It's a very good yeah. I never miss the show, by the way. I watch that's my I watch NBC in the mornings. Now, uh, can you give us a scoop, like who will be sitting in your chair? Uh, well, as of now, it's a national search, and uh, they're telling me they're they've got a lot of people applying for it. Um, I got people in house that are interested in it. Okay. Um, so uh, we'll see what happens with that. But they're kind of keeping me out of the loop because yeah. I'm kind of one foot out the door right now. So. I'm interested to see who gets it. I have a favorite, but I'm not going to bring Can you, you know, just mention to them, just mention? Who's your favorite? No, just mention Mike and Athena. Have <laughs> oh, an opening yeah. at that time in the morning. How about, how about you two? Yeah. You two can that, do it. That's what we're thinking. Mike and Athena in the morning. Or maybe Michael Strahan because he needs another gig, yeah, you he's know? he's looking right now. Right, yeah. That, is he? he do Michael much. Strahan's looking? No, no. Oh. Charlie Rose is. Oh, my God. All these people, because I think, well, it's so funny because when you put, and you know this, George, I've done morning morning shows for years. It's hard to find that dynamic. Um, that's another thing that's kind of hard to do like a duo show yeah. because in like personalities, I'm telling you, it's a tough business. It's a lot of fun, like the game that you're going to tonight. And remember back in the day we went to... Um, it wasn't Jerry Tarkaning. It was a football game that you and I covered together with Charlie Simon. Remember Charlie yep. Simons? Remember and Charlie. we had so much fun. Remember, like, we crammed into this car together, and we were hanging out with your friend. Um, who was your friend that made it to Sacramento or L.A.? Raj, someone? Raj Mathias in San Francisco. Oh, my God. And we just had so, like, memories like that I love, but it's still a tough business. Do you think TV has changed a lot for the – for the better or the same or what do you think um well it's definitely changed that yeah. takes the social media things are so crazy you know that's you see true. The president, whatever the hell he wants um but that has really changed you know tv dramatically and it's changed newspaper even more i mean you see how thin the fresno b is these days i know so uh, and people can get information on their phones now they Way faster, sometimes yeah. I like to do that instead of watch the news. So it's it's changing, and we gotta we, we've got to grow with it, and we've got to adapt to it for sure. That's true. By the way, it looks like you're wearing a purple shirt. Yeah, it's my Mitch Richmond shirt. There, I'm a big Kings fan. Mitch Richmond's my favorite player. Woo! Beautiful new arena in downtown Sacramento, the Golden One Center. I can't wait to go back. I've been there a couple times. So I'm a diehard Kings fan, even though they suck. <laughs> yeah, this year is in their year. Well, huh? hey, okay, now I know I'm far behind the times. When I lived in Vegas. I used to hang out with the Maloof brothers. They don't own the Kings any. I mean, yeah, the Kings. They don't own the Sacramento Kings anymore, do they? 
Who owns no, them they now? They tried to move that team everywhere. Vegas, Seattle, um, I think Afghanistan, wherever they wherever they could put them to make money, they would have done it. Yeah. But uh, they they sold the team, and now they're staying in Sacramento. They got a great owner. Um, okay, good. And they got a new GM in place in Vlade, and they got a young team. So hopefully they'll uh, they're taking on. Mr. Ball and the Lakers, so hopefully it'll be a good game. Well, have fun. Go Lakers, go Kings, whoever you're rooting for. But, George, I'm going to miss watching you on TV, but you you could come on the air with us. Yeah, come on, Mike, yeah. any time and talk about Reedley College. Yeah, why don't you? We can I don't, talk about Reedley College. That's yeah. what we I was thinking. Do that. Why don't we, as soon as you start your job, maybe in a couple of months, like when's the biggest – recruiting because seniors are start you know starting to talk about i bet you're you're going to be recruiting all the time and talking about the college but whenever it's the big push you come on the air with us and you let us know i will i will say this um out of the junior colleges all of them in the district uh reedley college has the highest graduation rate there you go and we're mainly in ag school so we have a 300 acre farm in the back and we produce our own wine there so really I'll bring the bottle and we'll do this bring we'll do this every now and then and grow up the school and they're, they're the only community college in the state with dormitories by the way really right. yeah right. oh you yeah. can live there on campus not me no heck no but <laughs> the students can yeah well you look so young george you could be a student yeah. All right, we are oh, out of yeah. time. So we goodbye, we you know. love you, George. Watch George Takata on KC24 this coming up Wednesday. Thursday starts a new job. And we love you. I was going to say we love and miss you, but I know we'll have you on the air with us again. Oh, will you be on tomorrow morning, yes. Thanksgiving Day? Are you going to be on tomorrow? I'll be on tomorrow morning, 5 what? to 7 only. No midday show. Wow. So I'll be oh, there. Happy Thanksgiving, George. Right, thank wow. you. You honor wow. us by being happy here. Thanksgiving, guys. Thanks for having me on. Right. Bye. Go Ridley College. Woo! Go Tigers, baby. Go Tigers. Wow. You have 30 seconds to say whatever you want. Happy Thanksgiving, George. 30 seconds Thank right you. now. Yeah. Well, have a great and safe Thanksgiving. Uh, don't drink and drive. Take Uber. And they are awesome, awesome Thanksgiving sales. My sister and I, my sister-in-law and I, we go out around 8 o'clock at night and hit up all the sales. So 30 seconds. I'll give you 30 so seconds. Wait, Black, 40. Black Friday. Black Friday. Happy Friday. Thanksgiving. We'll Bye. be back with more Mike, Athena, and George Takata next week.